Hey guys, I'm Arma and this is the 5x5 door that I made with Sacred that was recently showcased on my channel. It's the first of its size to be non-locational, which along with the overwhelming response I received on the showcase video, in my opinion, warrants a tutorial. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of problems with this design, but most of these were fixed in uh, this design, um, which I made with Exojet. Now, this one is slightly faster, it is... Um, the, the sides are synchronized and there are no minecarts if you don't like that kind of thing. Now this is going to be a tutorial, so okay. let's get started now, on it. Let's get started by building the layout. Obviously first you're going to want to build your um, frame. Decide where you want to build this. And then let's make the layout. So on each side you're going to want five pistons. On the top, you're going to want a quadruple extender, well, three of them, one here and one here, with storage pistons like so, inside of which you'll want to place some blocks. On the bottom, you want to place a triple extender, which goes a bit like this. On the same side as the top storage, you want to have three storage here and three storage right here all with blocks in them as well. And that's it for the layout. Uh, the input circuit. The input circuit basically just powers everything, gets everything ready for the opening of it. So, you just want to have three yellow blocks here and a little bit later, but so we power this input. So you want to get um, a block like this, a block here, and another block here. This here is your input. And yeah, four took out there. Now, to power the side pistons and make them synchronised, what we're going to do is place a draw off of here and a draw off of right here. Both of those need an item in the dropper. And you both take the output, well, you take the output from them both uh, out of the out of the dropper. Take the thing down um, and place a torch, turn that off. Um, piston and a redstone block that will retract and power this and then you want to do exactly the same thing on the other side as well as on this side you want to place another redstone block in a particular piston a regular piston right here Let's just get our stuff from slab. Right here we lay it on the top. So this is a dual edge that I've had bottom twice. So right now. You can see they're not entirely synchronized. So on the um, closing, uh, the top two pistons power after one tick, and the bottom three power after um, one and a half ticks. So they're half tick off. And on the opening, the um, bottom pistons will unpower after zero ticks because the piston starts to extend instantly, and then the top will, the top two will um, retract after one tick from the torch. So that's just they're, they're nearly synced. It looks good enough, and because they're synced with each other. Anyway, now let's get on with the uh, top quad and next moves. Okay, so now to do the quad, you first want to place two slabs right here, both with resin dust on them. Uh, let's get ourselves out a blue, blue block. Blue is the quad on this door. Four tick right here. Now I'm going to want to get more slabs. One here and one right here. Taking the signal up. And now on this input here is going to be a bunch of options droppers, which I'm going to place now. Just going to place a dropper this one here and here. Hopper right here. Into this dropper. And all facing into each other, like so. This, these are here to power the extra moves and power the second um, quad at the right time. So you want to take single across here with one tick repeaters, three tick repeater, four tick repeater, three tick repeater. Take an input across here, and an input across here, and one more turn over all of that. Three down there. Those are all the inputs for your quad. Now, so that will um, push the blocks across and push them down in the closer. Now, in the opening, 
we want to start out by placing a piston here, a slab right here on the top half, with a sand block. That's a slab, so it doesn't burn out the door. Now this here is going to start the quad um, extension circuit. So right here you want to place a comparator with a furnace. With a two tick repeater coming out. And uh, a furnace right here. This furnace is so that this comparator here only turns on if the signal strength up here is 50. And it's like that so that we can have so that this block here will power the piston and update for an update. But it won't go in a loop and power the comparator whenever this input powers. But it will turn on from this repeater because this powers this for 50. Anyway, um, now you want to place two dust like this. Going into a four tick, a three tick, another three tick, a torch tower kind of thing. A three tick. This will power down, powering this. And across. So um, when this piston here pushes down, it will power this going down, as well as powering the input up on the top here. And believe it or not, that is the whole quad. That's everything. So if I just reset this real quick. And that's your quad. Now, let's get into the extra moves. All right, now let's get started on the extra move circuit. So we're just gonna be getting an output from both of these hoppers. Um, well, first of all, you wanna get a Comparator there, a drop off right here. So this here is going to take an output after this one, and this will power the, uh, the storage and the extension circuit. And this one here will uh, get the signal across, and that will power down to retract the blocks up from the ceiling. Now that block gets powered by this dropper here, inside of which there will be that, those items. Um, you want 16 cycle items. Alternatively, you could just stick um, all of these can be 64, as long as there's two items in this one. And then you want to place five non cycle items right there. I mean, not, not cycle, um, 16 cycle. So, what will happen one more, if one more item goes in here, it'll the signal will reach to here, flooding all three of these um, storage pistons, but without powering the droppers, which will be bad. Now, this is pretty much uh, your whole top. Now you just want to put in a item into that drop right there. Uh, we just put in the storage blocks, and then, well, let's just see what happens. It breaks. Because I need to redirect this right here. Okay, and now let's do the um, opening. The triple will push those blocks up. And there we go. Now we're going to get started on the bottom. Alright, so now let's get started on the bottom. So you want to get some uh, orange blocks here. Well, I'm going to use orange because it's cool. Uh, get yourself some redstone. That'll power all of those storage blocks there. More redstone like this, going into a thing. And you want to see right here? This is going to one tick, making a toggle. So it'll only fire on the uh, first time. Because the second time it will just retract the, bit of the block back down. Place another repeater here, which will power that. And finally, you want to get uh, something like that to refire that thing. So now you want to push the box up 
which you do with a circuit like this. Okay, that should be your bottom closing done. Uh, let's just do it, why not? Let's go into those blocks. Okay, so I'll just do that. Now, you want to power those push the blocks up since they're not in the door frame yet. So, you want to have an input right here. Uh, and another one right here. And then you can power it here. The comparators to filter out the one tick pulses that come from over here. You don't want them powering the comparator. But the rest of them are there. Okay, so now I'm going to place a four tick cookie to here. A redstone locker. Going into a. Um, right, that's just a one stable on the edge. That, um, this pulse will go to the comparator, even though it's one tick. Now, you want to actually put the box up, like I said before. And two vortex right here. Going into a block. And three tick right here. And that will push them up, and then this one tick will push them up a second time. However, because there's one tick delay here, you're going to need to add one tick to this piston over here as well. Otherwise, you won't retract. Now, you want to, the next thing you want to do is, well, um, extend the storage blocks and power them to power the pistons in the, in the floor here. And to power those, you take a um, dropper right here and another one facing downwards. Uh, you want to take an output out of this, which can be quite awkward to do. So let me just break a few blocks. A comparator, um, repeaters like so, vortex, vortex, vortex. And then you want to place a piston here to update that so the dropper power is from this dust. Now, right, next you want to place this. Uh, this goes up to power the root storage again. But so we really need to power this piston's floor here first. Which we do like that. And then the last thing we do is we basically want to stop this here from making a clock. To do that, we power a piston right here. From this we get power from one tick to the western block. And get a furnace. One item in there. That's gonna lock this unless it's powered by this and then just a two tick by that and replace your comparator okay so now when we reset this and do the opening circuit it should work um or not Um, because we wanted this, in, that was in the wrong state there. Um, okay, so let's uh, try this again to the closing. And then the opening. With one more pulse. See when we power this here, it drags the box all the way down to the bottom. Now that should be the whole door done. Let's give it a tap. Okay, so the closing works all fine, and the opening. Does as well. So congratulations on building this awesome door. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time.